What is up guys, it's your man Evil Andre here, coming back at it with another Black Ops 4 video. And in today's BO4 video, we're going to be talking about why I agree with everything that Aethos has said about this specific Call of Duty title, every video he's ever made. Now, I know a lot of people finna immediately think that because I'm making a video about a well-known YouTuber, I'm going to be clout chasing or something like that. No, it's not even the case. This video is solely on the purpose that I believe everything he said is honest and truthful. So, Black Ops 4 is probably one of the, I'm going to put the second most overhyped Call of Duty of all time, with the first being World War II, but this is the most overhyped Call of Duty of all time, for the simple fact, no matter what they do to this game, no matter what innovations they try to add to this game, it seems like all they do is they constantly make the game worse and worse. You know, it's like, it's, a, it's the simplest things that can make this game better and replayable, but they ruin it every time they do a major game update with this game. First of all, you know, it's, it's this late into the game, and while this might not be that big of an issue, leaderboard's a combat record. Why is that not in the game at this point? I know they claim they're going to give us an update on that soon, but even then, I just want to know, like, when Infinite Warfare didn't have leaderboards or combat records, it was the biggest issue whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was making videos on it, telling telling everybody at um at, at freaking Infinity War that they need to do their job, and they putting out unfinished products. But for some reason, people just let it slide with this game and just act like that it's a nothing to bring up, you know? And another thing with this game, gun balance. Now, for the most part, you can use any gun and be successful in this game. But, like, it's, you know how it's always that one couple of weapons that outperform everything? What I don't understand about in this game is, why do they overbuff stuff that doesn't need to be buffed? The Augur DMR, in, like, nobody's eyes, needed a buff. And they buffed it. Now I see more people camping with that. The Rampart, which is one of my favorite guns, it was one of my favorite guns since the beta, has been buffed this entire game and has not been nerfed. When you put all of this together... You realize that they just have a habit of buffing stuff that's, you know what I'm saying, already good. How about buff something that needs to be better? You know, buff a GKS, buff an MX-9, and make it a noticeable buff, not a fucking range buff where it's like you barely notice a difference, you know? You can feel the Spitfire difference in that. So, like, why is it... And the Titan, why is the Titan still a valuable weapon after this point in the game? Like, honestly, if there was any LMG that I could say I'm really tired of getting killed with, it's the Titan. Yeah, people use the Hades and the VKM sometimes, but it's something about getting killed with the Titan with a thermosite that just really pisses you off, you know? Another thing, I've, I, the one thing that I really agree with, um, you know, a thoughts on, why is it that everybody in this game who seems to support it seems to try to look past all the bad in it, bro? Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I've been playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 3. And I'll be the first person to let you know that sometimes, you know, if you are in love with a game or the way a game plays, you try to look past a lot of the stuff that they do, right? But that's not me. You know, I loved Infinity War and I love Infinite Warfare, but I happily pointed out when some shit was OP and when there was an issue. You know, I was one of those people who were also bitching about Synaptic having a broken hitbox and then swapped around and wind up using the same thing that I said was overpowered towards the end of the game's life cycle. So I can happily admit that you know I can also critique things that I love so why do people let this game slide I hear a lot of people say stuff like man you know BO4 deserves to have free DLC B before I even say what I'm gonna say about free DLC let's just talk about all these people who spend money on the Black Ops Pass and got shafted see in my opinion they were better off with the season pass model because you had a set date a set time where people got dlc maps where people got a new zombies experience boom you know what i'm saying you had something people was looking forward to with this black ops pass where you just add content in as you go it makes the game feel dry and people get tired out of it really faster you know what i'm saying like for example not that many people are playing black ops 4 and the people who are playing black ops 4 are people who you know what i'm saying they do it because it's their job and nobody's really playing this game because they enjoy it because at the end of the day as much as I hate to say it I'm not trying to be that negative person. There's nothing to enjoy in this game First of all, it's so much specialist bullshit in this game, which by the way You know the no specialist playlist needs to be ASAP and you know what? I don't I don't want the no specialist playlist to be a one a one weekend type thing I want that to be a week-long thing. 
I want everybody to be able to enjoy this game without all the bullshit. And let's see who's actually good. Because there's been so many times I've played sweats that throw Tempest drones around corners. You know, I gotta worry about spawns being fucked because there's a person using Seraph and attack beacon. You know, it's like, I gotta worry about mesh mines that you can't even hear until you, like, literally already went through them. Um, you know, freaking razor wire. It's, it's, it's annoying. Everything about this game is annoying. And the cheese is at an all-time high. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, in the beginning of this game's life cycle, when everybody was learning it, it was, it was you know, you, you could deal with it. In the middle of this game life cycle, which is where we pretty much are now, this game is just fulfilled with complete AIDS. Like, I'm be honest with you, I feel this game, with the with all the bullshit in it, it it's like okay, so imagine MW2, but just not as good, but with all the same amount of bullshit that MW2 had. That's exactly what BO4 is. Like, like, like it's so much bullshit that you can die to, but this game isn't fun. There's no fun factor in this game because every every match is a fucking fucking optic scumpy you know what i'm saying cwl pub match bro like i don't understand that shit it's not that serious and you know it's funny because the connection in this game has gotten a lot worse they need to do a stability update really soon because let's talk about the dlc model like i was mentioning earlier they thought that yeah you know let's give the community a chance to try out the dlc maps first of all me being an xbox player when they did that update recently for this game i've been playing dlc maps since the whole the start of the week that's the first thing I want to point out. And second of all, you know, I know a lot of people feel like, yeah, free DLC is a good model. If I'm being dead ass with you, no, it's not, okay? When you play in a game like this, where, you know what I'm saying, the connection flusters based on the lobbies you get and the people you play against, and, you know what I'm saying, lobbies are a lot better when you're not coming against five men all the time playing TDM because they're too scared to go play Domination or Hardpoint. Like, this game is just retarded, and I'm going to just straight up tell you guys. This game had so much potential, but of course they failed. You can't you can't go anywhere with this. Like, I'm not sugarcoating anything I'm saying about this game. Like, this is just how I've been feeling. And let's talk about these DLC maps, because they thought to like, let everybody have these DLC maps, right? These DLC maps is so ass. This map you see me playing right now has no flow. All the other maps in the game have no flow. The only DLC map that slightly plays decent is Casino. And that map is ass too because there's a million ways to get flanked. Every every DLC map in this game is ass. So, no, I'm happy that they don't give the DLC away for free. Let everybody who play, who paid for this piece of shit be able to pay, you know play this piece of shit. Because I don't want to play this. These maps have no flow. Everybody we playing has basically no thumbs. All they do is camp trying to get streaks. Like, the shit is not fun. The shit is not fun. So I agree with every single thing that Aethos has ever said about this game because I don't get it. Seems like this game is focused more on Blackout than anything. And I know a lot of people are like, how? Well, let's look at it. Blackout gets more content from a from you know a content creator standpoint than multiplayer does. Woohoo! They added some reserve crates in the game that are ass. Woohoo! They added they added a um a shamrock and all mini event set, bro. Like this shit is trash. This shit is so bad, bro. And you know, honestly, I'm happy that I didn't buy the Black Ops Pass. This game is not worth buying a season pass for. It. Like, honestly, the more and more I play this game, the more and more I just think, like, damn, G, this is what Call of Duty has come to at this point. It's crazy. I remember back in the day when Call of Duty was a fun ass game to play that everybody could have fun with. Nowadays, all you see is is bullshit like this. Like, like, like this this whole game is just one big bullshit fest, bro. And it's crazy because free-to-play games like Fortnite and Apex is killing Call of Duty and they don't realize it. You know, I'm not a person that hops on a Battle Royale bandwagon, but Apex is a pretty fun game and a nice alternative to playing back Black Ops 4 and giving yourself a fucking heart attack every time you hop on. But if you agree with anything I said, please sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. My name's Evil Adre. Smack your lobbies is my hobby. I'm out. Peace.